Hey guys, it's Jenna with the Arkansas CW Crew. I'm here with Priscilla Tran today. She's the associate producer of a movie called Painted Woman that's going to be featured at Bentonville Film Festival this year. Priscilla, can you tell us a little bit about the film? Yes, so Painted Woman obviously is an Arkansas-based film and we have an amazing production company called Chasing Sunsets created by two amazing women. And to go further into the film, Painted Woman, I am really confident to say is that it is a Western made specifically for our generation and that hasn't really been made yet as far as Westerns for the generation. So we're really proud of that. And Painted Woman is pretty much about a young woman with a very dark past and she's able to find wisdom in the romance of the Old West. So it's very romantic but there's drama and a little bit of violence at the same time Ooh. but it's, it's action packed too with some love going on, so it's, it's pretty nice. There's all kinds yeah. of stuff in there. Sounds <laughs> yeah. exciting. So tell me, how does the title play into the movie? So Painted Woman is really interesting because back then they actually called women back in the brothel days that, and Julie Richards, the lead, she lives in a brothel. And we like to play off a bunch of different things with that because pretty much she goes through this transformation where she paints her own canvas. But in the beginning of the movie, she doesn't have control of her own story. All these men around her and other people are painting that story. So that's where the title plays into that painted woman. Oh my gosh, she's taking over her own story. Right? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. get it, all right, I like it. So what was the process for getting into the film festival, was it? Oh, well, we didn't have a finished movie, so we were still working on audio. And the filming obviously was done, but we had a director's cut. So we sent it to the BFF, and they really liked it, and that's when they decided to make us an official spotlight film. Awesome, and how excited were you guys when you found out it was gonna be a oh spotlight film? Oh my gosh, film? we were so excited. We were thrilled, we wanted to celebrate, but we just went straight into like being happy, but getting ready for the festival and just making it ready. And trying to get it finished. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So you have so. something finished to show. <laughs> so tell me, how is this film unique to other films that we might be seeing at the Film Festival this year? Well, I think it's really unique because first, like I mentioned before, it's a Western made specifically mm -hmm. for this generation, and you don't really see that. And compared to the other movies, it's made in a different time setting, more modern. And to me, it's also very specific because even though all the films there cater to some kind of women's diversity, because that's what BFF is about, I mean, we just have a really strong set of diverse characters, and that was really important to us. And on top of that, we felt that we were able to support feminism in a very unique way. And we have this character who is a guy, we consider him the Mustanger. And we have this lead, female, and even though she's ultimately the heroine, the guy she meets, the Mustanger, teaches her how to transform her life and to paint her own story. And he treats other people around him just as equals. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, if you break it down, that's what feminism is. So, exactly. yes, so we <laughs> considered him the feminist. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is unique to how other films, because there'll be a male feminist mm -hmm. yes. as the as the uh, co-star. <laughs> <laughs>